The European Union has signed a deal with Israel and Egypt to obtain natural gas. According to the plan, natural gas from Israel will be supplied via pipeline to Egypt from where it will be liquefied and sent to Europe in tankers. The agreement comes as Europe tries to move away from Russian energy supplies after sanctioning the country. Last year, Europe imported about 155 billion cubic meters of 40% of its natural gas from Russia. Experts are unsure if this new deal will be any kind of meaningful replacement. Israel's total production is only around 20 billion cubic meters. It is trying to increase its production to 40 billion cubic meters in the next few years. In 2020, Israel, Greece and Cyprus had signed a deal worth 6 billion US dollars to construct an undersea pipeline. The project named East Med is proposed to transport gas from Israel's offshore fields to Europe. However, experts have raised questions about its viability, claiming that it will be too expensive. Israel is also currently in a dispute with Lebanon, which claims that some of the offshore gas fields fall under its jurisdiction. The European Union's deal with Israel and Egypt has been widely criticized by human rights groups and Palestinian organizations. European Union has just signed a gas deal with Israel after it banned uh, gas imports import of energy resources from Russia, claiming that Russia has violated uh, international law, it has violated the human right of Ukrainian people after it, its forces attacked on Ukraine. If he, protection of human right, the opposition of Russian action on the basis of international law was the motive behind the use um, sanctions against Russia, uh, Nothing can be ironical than signing a deal with Israel because Israel is the country which is uh, which is recognized, gradually recognized as an apartheid state. It is the settler colonial state which has occupied millions of Palestinians and their, uh, uh, displaced them from their homes, what we call Nakba. Um, it, it commits human aid violation on daily basis in the occupied Palestinian territories and uh, has, has a record of violating maximum number of uh, UN resolutions on, uh, on earth. So uh, given this hi history of Israel being the uh, record holder of uh, when it comes to human rights violations, if, Euro if Euro Europe has no problems with dealing with Ira Israel, and it has problems with Russian uh, attack on Ukraine, then nothing can be more hypocritical than this. The European Union has imposed a host of sanctions on Russia and its energy sector after the war in Ukraine broke out. In May, European countries announced a plan to cut the majority of oil imports from Russia by the end of the year. Russia supplies 27% of Europe's oil. As per the new plan, there will be an embargo on two-thirds of oil imports from Russia. Another one-third will continue reportedly at the insistence of Hungary. Hungary imports 65% of its oil from Russia via pipelines. Following the EU sanctions, Russia demanded payments in its own currency for the sale of gas. Supplies were cut to countries which refused to comply, such as Poland, Bulgaria and Finland. The sanctions and stoppage of supply has led to a historic rise in the prices of gas in European countries. Experts have noted that with energy prices soaring, European governments could face deep unrest as winter approaches.